Hi there, how are we all doing today? We've got another great product here from Amazon, not sponsored or anything like that. We've got the cheapest MPP solar controller. The um, There's quite a few what um, you see like on Tamu and that and they're not MPPT at all. They just have MOSFETs and they might work for what you want uh, in certain perimeters. Um, but this is the cheapest MPPT. And it's like, I quite like the window, but this has got some uh, MOSFETs and stuff in it. I'm not an electrical engineer or anything like that. So I can't really, you know, say what is what. It says it's 98% efficiency i don't know <laughs> i've got no ways of testing that anyway but i thought i'll share it with you because it it was a reasonable price for the um product so you've got the um, instruction manual of course and the rotation of the display it's got now quite a nice display as well and we'll go into it later on we're just having a look at the moment while well, I'm in my studio. So, here it is. You've got a couple of USB sockets here. You've got a nice LED display with um, different parameters where you can change. Depends on if you want in lithium or anything like that. Um, but the best thing, it, I don't know if you can see, it is transparent. So you've got a couple of coils here and there. That's the main thing usually with MPPT. But you've got some MOSFETs and, and stuff here. Well, <laughs> I think they are. Like I say, I'm not an electronics uh, engineer or anything. Um, but like I know, I've had really cheaper controllers and that's what's the controller instead of the, the coils and stuff there. But it's nice to see the window of what products if anybody's um, technical in mind, put in the comments below. So you can you can get um, different what um, ampages, should I say? And it's quite a nice uh, screw top there. How it clamps is slightly different to some others. Comes on a bit of a heat sink as well. Not always nice to see. as well but uh, it looks a, a, a nice uh, controller as well so we'll, we'll put it to test and uh, we'll make sure everything's running all right like i say i've tried the cheaper ones and i, I think my solar panels out of the parameter uh, of the voltage of the 12 volt system when i've read into it they only could go in between 12 to 20 volt volts of the panel but mine goes like 40 plus because it's a 450 watt panel what's on top of my van but hopefully this does it nicely so later on we'll check it out hi there how we doing we've got the um, solar controller all rigged up this is the um I'd say the cheapest one what says it's MPPT but I am very suspicious that it's not really I think they just put a bit of coil in there just to make it look good um, because I've swapped about um, this is like in my work van so at the moment you can go through so that's what's coming in so 41 volts 180 watts or so coming in and uh, I've got my um, battery monitored system here and uh, as we flick through it's saying I'm giving round about 12 13 amps going in at 13.8 volts if you can see but on my system here it, it is saying only 7 
7.6 volts should I say um, amps going in but if I put my Renergy MPPT on whatever it says it says on my battery as well so it is fluctuating up and down but at the moment it's like nearly 14 14 amps and I'm getting 8 amps so there's quite a bit of reduction in there um, and looking it inside like I said there's some MOSFETs and some other things I, I'm not technical so here's a, a good look inside that's supposed to be the coil but there's loads of like big MOSFET things on the side where I bought like the cheaper um, solar controls and that's what um, just is power supplying and it doesn't really work on my because I've got a quite a high ampage um, solar panel well voltage solar panel as you can see this is telling me what my solar panel is doing so it's like up to 50 volts to one and 20 at the moment we are in October it's a 450 watts um, panel you see so my recommendation is probably not just spend a little bit more and get a um, well-known name version I am going to keep this because like I said this is only for my work van and it there's um, it does what I need for this single battery but if you're in desperate needs of good charging I'd buy a proper one from like well there's loads of companies out there Sterling, Renergy and so on and so on and this was like £50 on Amazon but it is saying it's an MPTT I could see the coil what's in it so it looked like it was going to be um, any comments in below please let me know um, but I'd spend a little bit more and get a proper thing if you're for a camper van like I said this is my work van and it does what I actually still need um, I've got a big enough panel to supply me so I hope this helps but this is the what it looks like on the box I've tried to have a few mess about with the um, settings and it's quite hard to really know what it means it's not like simple as like some other products um, and I, there's no Bluetooth so I quite like Bluetooth as well on some products so you can control it on your phone but yeah I've got a few a couple of USBs out and that but I wouldn't even go through that I'd go to your battery and then power your USBs anyway so I hope this helps I would not recommend this to be fair you better probably buy a cheap one if you're getting just um, like a, a 12 volt solar panel a little one but ones what are going a lot a lot higher the um, I wouldn't bother thank you I hope this helps it's more of a educational video I'm no um, expert if um, I've got anything wrong put it in below or enlighten me I'd be happy for the comments thanks for watching